Kangaroo time has sashayed its way to victory. In a Eurovision-like showdown, queer behavioral ecologist Welton Menario Costa snatched the top prize at the Dance Your PhD competition. I can't believe you weren't in this, Edward. His thesis research on eastern gray kangaroos proved that science can be fabulous and fierce. Costa's vibrant video showcased the masupios, unique personalities and social dynamics, proving that diversity isn't just a human concept, it's natural. Sponsored by Science Magazine, this contest brings together scientists from all fields. So next time you're pondering the mysteries of the universe, add a little shimmy, it might just win you a spot in science history. Watch this. Drag queens twerking equals kangaroos, of course. What are we all talking about? I love how, you know, when you can incorporate something like science and music together, it will, it will take, it will get the attention of somebody that probably wouldn't be into science. I yeah. know you are. I know you're a nerd and I love it. And I call you a nerd nicely. Okay. Because I think nerds are sexy. My wife is a nerd. Yeah. She is. I love your, oh, I love your wife. She's fantastic. She's a nerd. She's a nerd. <laughs> Hashtag nerd. But it's sexy, you know? So again, if she's going to tell me something about the, you know, uh, something, something medical, I go, okay, can you make it like sexy? Or like, can you tell me with your shirt off? Right? Because it's like, I, it doesn't register to me, you know? It doesn't yeah. register to me. You're a science guy. You're, you're a doctor. I mean, you I, should, have you yes. ever joined like a, like a, like a, like a competition like this or anything like no, that? No, I, I would love to. Oh my God. I, I need to do something like that, but I haven't. You Not should. yet. One day. You should. One day. But you know, I, I think, you know, his, I, I love this research, right? Like it's trying to think about different relationships. So the relationship between drag queens, movement, I think it's movement, then science of animals. I love just innovative things like this, like sort of geeky things that normally traditional people wouldn't do, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. like, you know, I, I know it's pretty interesting, actually. Yeah, but that's very also, different. But I think that that's how you get people's attention on yeah. certain things. You know, like I love kangaroos, and I would have never associated a drag queen and twerking it's to movement. kangaroos. But now the movement. Yeah, it's the movement. You know, and have you ever and, seen a drag queen move? I mean, yeah, that's how... and it's to get your attention. And I think it's like the big thing for any researcher is about building new knowledge, and so and it's about just exploring different relationships between two and three items or people or subjects. And so I think that this is just an opportunity to, to build new knowledge. Yeah, yeah, and incorporate drag queens anywhere yes. you go. I mean, come on, and twerking. Yeah, I can love you it. twerk? <sighs> I can't twerk. I mean, I could just. I can't twerk. Yes, you can. No, no, no I'm sir. Not. You're I'm not, I'm not going to ask you to twerk right here in bed, even though I would, but I'm not. Okay? I, I'm, not I'm not good at that. You know, the one thing I, I'm good at is just working out and taking okay. my shirt off. You know? Oh, well, you can, can you take your, you can take your shirt off take now. Off. Yay! I can barely get it off, I think. Oh, wow. well, because you're just, it's so, yes, it's so tight. Ooh. Look at that. Pam, 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 Pam. So I, there's something wrong with my body, right? Um, I can't squat. Well, you can't squat. I can't squat. I can squat oh, yeah. against a wall. I can squat against a wall, right? And I can use that as my to go down. But for whatever reason, I can't squat. And I think that squatting is a necessity to twerking. Yeah. It just goes together. So my ex, uh, Justin, he like, I couldn't squat neither before. And he like spent hours with me at the gym, like teaching me how to squat. So I do think it's a necessity. So I think we have to work on that when we go to the gym together. We can do 10 minutes together mm -hmm. and we can learn how to squat together. Yeah, right. And then we get to Your ex-boyfriend took you to the gym to learn to learn how to squat. Were you squat, squat, squatting like on him? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But that might be no a way comments. for me to learn. But that might be a way for me to learn. <laughs> Teresa, you see, that's how I need to learn how to squat like that. Yeah. That's a good idea. But now I'm just imagining was, you and your ex like squatting at the gym together. Ooh, it's hot. It was hot. And he, yeah. ooh, beautiful thoroughbred from Indiana, was buff. Uh, anyway. anyway.